no Sersky. <laughs> that was not what it was giving. It, it was Ooh. another lesson. Ugh. It was, and enough, it was okay. a whole dozen lesson, and that's fine because guess what? It brought me to the journey where I am now, and I'm finally realizing that I am becoming her. You are now listening to The Mental Breakdown. What's oh. up, everybody? It's your Welcome. favorite wellness enthusiast. Mm-hmm. Enthusiasts, connoisseurs, gurus, not gurus, we're like really far, but. Earth to Asia. And journey with jazz, and, um, and I mean, we're gonna talk over each other today. Or I know it's just like every time you try to say something, I say something. So you know what? You just start it off, and I'll follow your lead. How about that? Okay, hey y'all, welcome back to the mental breakdown. Um, today we're feeling good vibes. Okay, um, today we are having a conversation about life's balance being the art of balance. Um very interested in today's topic and when we get into it um I think I have a few things I would like to talk about so how are you doing today Jasmine I'm doing pretty good um I don't know this morning I just said it in my mind I haven't really been in the mood to do a morning routine or anything like that but I got up this morning I made breakfast I stretched I meditated and I haven't done it in so long that the fact that I did it today I really felt the difference that it made in my day like it's just been good vibes all day just because of the way that I started my morning so I'm having a great day how's your day going how's your day been that's good um my day has been I don't know I kind of had like a lazy day slash trying to be productive um like I've been trying to pull myself I've been out of bed but like I've been chilling for the most part all day um I like when my days when I'm able to kind of like do my daily routines, like when I want to do them, not kind of like when other people want me to do them. So I like when I'm able to not rush and do things, but I feel like I was a little bit lazy today. So I had to get up, do some yoga, refresh myself because my muscles were all tight. That helped me feel better. And then I also went and got my eyebrows done today. So her feeling good. No makeup today. Giving favorite, like I said, wellness kind of sort of guru. Skin is glowing. We love to see it. Skin is glowing. (laughs) Got a little tan. Okay. Got a little tan. Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so I'm I'm feeling great. We love that. Um, before we actually got into the conversation, I did just wanna, you know, preface everything that's going on in the world right now. Like, um, how do you feel about the overturn of Roe versus Wade? I feel like um, yeah, women should have the rights and do whatever they want with their bodies. Um, I just feel like men should not be in a position to make the decision for us women, you know, what we want to do. First of all, reproduction is why we're all here and really what we're supposed to be doing. So I don't like that the law has some type of authority or say so over that area anyway, in any way at all. Um, so it just, it really makes me uncomfortable, especially because like, if anybody were to say anything about the male reproductive system and like try to govern laws over their stuff, oh, it would be an issue and it would make them feel uncomfortable. And that's exactly how we feel. And I don't like that. Yeah, I definitely feel on that. Like one men should definitely not have any say over a woman's body and sure. Like, um, there are women, um, a part of Congress and House of Representatives and those who voted for or against. Obviously, we don't know all their votes or whatever, but there were women involved. So I don't know if I necessarily just blame it on the men. However, they do take up majority of Congress. So it's just like y'all did majority vote against, you know, abortion or for the overturn of the freedom to um, have that choice. But for me, it's just like I. <sighs> it doesn't make any sense because being that it happened previously, they already knew, they already know that they're not ending abortion. Like they already, like, there's no way that you don't know that you're just ending safe abortion. So it's just like, what's your motive here? It's something different than wanting to end abortion because you already know that it's going to not be, um, it's going to still happen. It's just not going to be legal and it's not going to be, um, safe probably more times than not. And, um, you know, that, One, our foster care systems and our adoption systems are flooded. So now you're forcing these people to have children that they can't take care of. So what do they do? They give them away. On top of that, we're going through a baby food shortage or went through. (laughs) 
we yeah, can't it even doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up it doesn't add up and then on top of that it's like you can't you can't deny you just can't deny the women you women can have an abortion for whatever reason right whether you just you know you, you you're with your husband and you just don't want to have a kid right now you can have an abortion it's your choice whether you want to mother a child for nine months and not even nine months for the rest of your life this is a right. lifetime commitment, you know what I'm saying? So I should have the, the option of whether or not, you know, I made a mistake or, I, you know, I was just doing something irresponsibly. I should be able to fix the issue. Or I just want to plan my life. Right. Okay. It's not going the way I wanted to go. I know I won't be able to provide for this child the way I know I can or should. And so I'm not going to have this child. And even on top of that, you can't deny the fact that women are being raped. So like I, there is a, an ulterior motive to this that is not being represented because there's just, it's no way that you have all this information that I, as a citizen who doesn't really delve that much into politics, I mean, I am a woman, so I do, you know, I have my own prerogatives about it, but you know, I already know all of these things. So there's no way somebody in Congress has no clue about all of these things and all of these, these, you know, they've been talking about this for going on. I don't even how, know how long, at least months. So y'all got the facts. Yeah. But I feel like we're, we're going backwards. Why? It's going backwards. But like I said, there is a reason it's not because they're trying to end abortion. Mm -hmm. There's a reason behind it. There's a motive behind it. Yeah. And the fact that we're even becoming overpopulated over our, our planet is becoming overpopular. I was going there. Populated. Yeah. Overpopulated. Then why are we, why are we bringing more kids into the world for one? And why are we bringing more kids into the world that cannot be efficiently and effectively and successfully taken care of? You see what I'm saying? Like it just, it, it rubs me the entire wrong way. And uh, and if, it, if things keep going the way that it's going now, it's just more, more carbon emission. It just, it, 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 there it is just an awakening are. happening though. And I just know that something is going on. This shit is happening. Then you got climate change. Then you got all this stuff going on in Ukraine. You, you, it's just so much going on in the world that there's, the, something is happening. Yeah, the stuff about guns. Something is happening and it's going to get, I, I just have a feeling that it's going to get worse before it gets better. It's already getting worse, but it's just like, when are we going to start like taking humanity seriously and like leading, in my opinion, leading with love, because that was not a love thing. You don't love the people that you're serving. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not putting love into well, your but you are you are put in that position to serve the citizens of the united states correct and then my thought, yeah but then my thought process also is like okay so what about your family members what your if mother... your gets in a situation you're gonna do some illegal stuff just for her or like how is that gonna work i need to know how that's gonna plan out or how that process was through your head or how right. that went right no. And it, 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 yeah, so it's just, it's a lot of questions for me that just, it's just not adding up. And if it doesn't make sense, make it make sense for me because I need it to make sense. And for you to make, to overturn a law that restricts my ability to have choice and to have freedom, and for my kids to have choice and to have freedom, for my sister, for you, any woman that I know. And the thing about it is, I know so many women, not even so many, because, you know, I have so many friends, but. I know, I know a decent a handful of women who have had abortions mm -hmm. and if they wouldn't have been able to have that option, their life, I, who knows what it would be, but I know that that was something that they didn't want to happen. You know what I'm saying? So it's just crazy to me. It just blows my mind. I was getting ready to say something, but I forgot, <laughs> but no, yeah, no, this is, yeah. All of this that's happening right now is crazy. I agree with jazz, like be prepared. Hey, I don't want to say it, but like, it makes me want to like duck off and like go somewhere else. And like, I mean, I've already been on this wave of like just growing my own garden and being self-sustainable and you know what I mean? But it just wants me, it makes me want to do that even more. Because it makes just, me want to move to a new country. I want to move. I want to go to another country. I want to go somewhere else. Truly. Like it makes me want to move to another country because it, it's so, it's so backwards that it's it's almost comical like it's comedic at yeah. this point yeah. It, yeah it's crazy yeah but let's yeah. not 
gas prices. Inflation <laughs> is also a thing. Yeah. Inflation is crazy. So this is fun. But um yeah, I just I just wanted to get that off my chest because I wanted to know how you felt about it for one. And for two, I just need to talk about it because I just I was at work, mid-work, they were like, Yeah, they overturned Rovers Red. I was like, huh? Mm-hmm. What are you talking mm-hmm. about? What did it say? Six, six to three. Six to three what? Like six people, six over three. That's why I won because it was six. Oh, I didn't, I don't know the count. I didn't know the count. Yeah, I think it's six, six to three. Wow. Yeah. So I mean, and- hopefully, hopefully, and it still is it's retarded. Well, I'm not gonna say retarded, that is not politically correct or um it's a derogatory term. I apologize. That is crazy because I just it's hard to wrap my mind around it like yeah but then at the same time it's like a bunch of stuff that we can't control happens all the time and it's like part of me wants to like be like obviously I'm going to use my voice and I'm going to you know say what I have to say about any situation but part of it is just like I don't have control over it like do I just like am I going to sit here and stress even though they say we have certain controls over you know we have our we really don't. You don't. So it's like, do I have to sit here and like focus super hard on that and stress over that, or do I just chill out and just be like, well, I mean, you can control the controllables, but I was actually watching this video of Joe Biden, not Joe Biden, um, two totally different people, Bernie Sanders, mm-hmm. and he was talking about how um, our our democratic society is slowly but surely turning into an oligarchic society where there's a pool of people wealthy people who are controlling everything and it's happening like it's 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 literally happening and they are able we are having it's been happening but it's becoming more and more apparent jeff bezos and um, mark zuckerberg and all these people who have so much money and are pouring money in certain things mark joe um not joe um jeff bezos talked about going to the to mars like all he's funding nasa you have enough money to in world hunger three times over it's you know it's a small pool of people that are getting all this money and have all this wealth and they are going to begin to control the united states and that leaves them at the top getting everything they need and the the citizens at the bottom left with whatever else is left and it's you can kind of see it starting to happen a little bit yeah yeah i can side with that it's crazy it's crazy we are living in a crazy world. Um, but, you know, well, control the controllables. Do what you yeah, can. Right. I was going to say, well, we're going to control the controllables and, um, you know, keep our minds right. That's why, that's why we're here. That's why Jazz and I are here to help keep you on track, okay? Mentally, your- emotionally sound. Spiritually, okay? Yes. So today, like I said, we're talking about the art of balance, Okay. Um, oh, yeah, let's get back to the topic at hand. Yeah, that, that's the that's topic. But we had right. to address that. Mm-hmm. Crazy part of the world. So um, when I thought about this topic, my first thought today was um, just about when I first moved to Maryland or getting ready to move to Maryland and just thinking about all of the new stuff that's, that was getting ready to happen and that's still happening. Um, so I just had started school at the time, graduate school, and how I knew that I wanted to start Earth to Asia. Well, I did start Earth to Asia, but like, There were so many different things under the Earth to Asia umbrella that I wanted to do, um, but I just did not know how to balance it. And I'm still in the process of learning how to balance it. But like at first it was just like, I was freaking out. Like I didn't, I wanted to do everything at one time and I was, I just could not. Um, And I think that's why balancing and definitely like scheduling things out um, is super important. And also I am a Libra, I would like to know. So my whole entire life, I feel like I'm like balancing everything. And I think that's why a lot of times, just as a person, I fall into the middle of a lot of stuff and I'm like the um, the counselor friend or like the, the person in the middle because I always try to like balance things out. But like, what are your, what were your thoughts when you first um, looked at the topic and everything? So firstly to what you have to say it's funny that you say like you felt very overwhelmed and um unbalanced because being a libra i have learned that you are good at balancing the lives of others 
not necessarily good at balancing yourself though like you need other people to help you stay balanced but as far as that when it comes to other people's life you tend to be better at that Mm -hmm. so it's kind of funny that you say that I mean I can say that I agree like I do feel like I help a lot of people within that but I do constantly um I I won't call it a struggle but I constantly find myself like just making sure I'm in the middle like if Mm -hmm. I shift one way to one side I'm like hold on hold on let me balance this other side out shift the other way hold on hold on I'm constantly trying to like level out so I wouldn't call it like a struggle like it's like hard but I probably would agree with you to say like I help also help others out with that as well and I'm really good at it yeah yeah um but as far as me and what I thought of the topic at hand I think my mind just I don't know why my mind like yours automatically went to a moment where I felt unbalanced Mm -hmm. like I'm thinking about when I moved from sophomore year to junior year of undergrad and um, I had joined a sorority I was still playing basketball I was a part I joined this club Um, me and Asia we were you know we did this club called ladies um what else was I doing? I was in this presidential leadership program for, it was like this, this minor slash, it, it was like a, a whole program at the university we went to. It was, um, a, it was good. Let's just it was, let's say that. <laughs> I, I'm not going to say it was good. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. I don't say, I, I, I was sugarcoating. I was sugarcoating. She was definitely sugarcoating, y'all. H- heavy on the powdered sugar. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, so I just had so much going on. And then on top of that, it was junior year. So, you know, that's a year where you got to make sure your grades are as good as they can be because your senior year, you're not really using those grades. And I knew that I wanted to go to graduate school. So I knew that my junior year grades had to be really good. So, and also research lab. I was doing that too. Yeah. I know how I forgot about that because that was a lot kind of. We were a part of a lot of stuff. Now that I think about it together. A lot of stuff. Yeah. And probably so, but if you think about it, we, we sh- like Asia is probably the first person I ever met who shared like almost all of my interests. She shares them. So it's like a lot of the things that we do tend to overlap. But yeah. So yeah, I was just doing a lot and I, I just felt like I could never catch a break. I was always doing something for somebody else or doing something for the organizations I was a part of or doing something for, um, basketball or whatever and so I felt like dang like do I even get a chance to just sit down and watch tv or you know watch Netflix and so when I did get those opportunities it was like I was in the bed all day and then me then I also felt it it rolled into okay I'm not doing anything so now I feel unproductive so now I'm anxious so now I need to go do something so it was like I didn't even when when rest came I didn't even know what it felt like and that caused anxiety for me so it was definitely trying to find a balance there when trying to balance between find a balance between doing the things that I needed to do and also doing the things that I wanted to do so yeah well when it's I apologize guys okay (laughs) um life happens it happens um so when you when it's time to like balance out what activities do you feel yourself doing a really good question and whenever I need to feel balance my being screams to be in nature like it's immediately like Jasmine you need to go for a walk or you need to go get a blanket and go sit outside in the middle of a park or something like immediately and when I leave maybe not right when I leave but the next day I just feel like whoo I can you know conquer the world again like I don't know something about being outside for me just really grounds me like walking in the grass being out in the sun and that's why I feel like a lot of times like in the summer I thrive because I love being outside in the winter time I definitely feel like I sometimes I can get caught up in some seasonal depression because it's like I don't want to go outside I don't feel there's no vitamin d you know there's no it's cold I feel constricted and uncomfortable yeah so yeah nature for sure what about you um so I think I'm just gonna use today as an example so I like felt very very I mentioned earlier I felt very very stiff so like I was shifting one way feeling very like unproductive like stiff like not all the way myself so what I did today was I did some yoga okay 
I put on my Earth to Asia wellness gear. You know, I got my little unk going, got my little lotus flower. Jazz got her I got her one of these, so it's pretty cool necklace. Um, I put on I my didn't like, put that together. I, <laughs> I did that though. I just did that. That was on the spot. Oh, but um, <laughs> I put on my tan today. You know, like I said, my skin feeling like it's glowing. I don't got no makeup on, so I'm feeling like real natural. Got my little wrap on so I think I just really try to tap into my like element and I think that really helps me to balance out especially like if you want to tie in social media and stuff like that especially when you're lazy you're sitting there on your phone scrolling in the bed because you're just being lazy and everything unproductive whatever you want to call it and you just start comparing well I try not to compare but like you sit there start comparing yourself and all this extra stuff so getting myself back into my element just and you talk about nature that too just helps me center yeah also another thing that I didn't add was I I like to be creative like I like to just do something that makes me feel creative so Mm -hmm. whether that be like Asian knows like I'm into crochet or painting or even like making TikToks or you know thinking of new ideas for YouTube videos um those are always things that I always kind of gravitate to too and even just like going outside and doing those things like that really does for me exercise for sure oh yeah exercise I would say I I would say exercise is definitely more for my mental if I'm mentally unbalanced or emotionally definitely emotionally that would be cool if we like kind of went from top not necessarily chakras because I was going to kind of say chakras I was gonna say top to bottom but like if if we talked about spiritually mentally physically emotionally Mm. that might be dope that would be dope so yeah I guess I started with um mentally I guess I'll go up and then come down again so like spiritually I definitely so I have an altar I wouldn't say I definitely I necessarily necessarily practice African um um spirituality spirituality or african traditional um religion but i do have an altar so i'll just sit and meditate with my altar and like just talk and get out whatever it is i'm feeling um anxious or depressed or um sad or even happy about just talking out loud and i find that um i just feel more connected to to spirit and i feel more connected to the people watching over me and guiding me so that's spiritually, um, mentally, spirit. No, I said ment- emotionally, spiritually, mentally. I would say, um, what would I say for mentally? Reading. I definitely probably say reading and going outside. Those two things. Reading outside. Oh, perfect top combo. Tier. Top, top tier. tier. <laughs> reading outside with a bowl of fruit. Oh, top tier. Top tier. Mm-hmm. not top two not to okay and a, and a nice glass of cold water well I only like cold water maybe outside cold but yeah top tier so that's probably mentally and then physically exercising for sure like I love lifting weights I want to get into um CrossFit eventually um but yeah lifting weights and playing basketball that's one of my long-term mm-hmm. favorite things huh CrossFit CrossFit is like um it's a mixed it's kind of like hit training but with weights and cal and like calisthenics and stuff so like jumping boxes and lifting weights and um or like bench press and then you go to running and then you go to like it's like a circuit but it's a lot of different things involved okay I started laughing because I like lifted my leg up and they saw my pajama pants yeah I got on pajama pants oh yeah the bottoms are not matching For sure, okay. <laughs> this is Zoom etiquette, okay? The bottoms do not have to match. <laughs> For sure. Um. So I'm sorry. Are you done? Okay. But yeah, I was done. I I said spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically. So yeah, it's your turn. Okay. So um, mentally, what do I like to? Do? I like to talk. Um, I really like to use my throat chakra to talk things out. So whether that's being on the phone with my friends, my mom, my boyfriend, um. My yeah, will tell a story, okay? I will tell a story. Tell a story. <laughs> and I will take a long time to tell it too. Uh huh. She will go off in a million different tangents, but somehow she always ends up back to, to the central story. But I do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I do like I like to talk. Um, 
physically, I like working out. I think I also, well, not I think I also, I like to tumble. I still do tumble. I've been tumbling since I was like five or six years old. Um, but I still like doing like my back bends. I like doing my yoga, um, like just going to the gym as well. But probably physically when I'm feeling off, yoga probably hits the best. Mm-hmm. Um, so mentally, mentally, physically, spiritually is my journaling. Um, for I'm sure. Getting more into that. I've been kind of taking a break, but I also noticed that when things are crazy, crazy, crazy for me, that's when I really journal. But I want to get more into a journaling habit of just so like, I don't want to say every day because that's not realistic for me. Might be realistic mm-hmm. for some people, but not for me. But maybe like a weekly thing, you know, versus just when I'm feeling crazy, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't like to do that. But that is like my, that's my, my source, my outsource. That's what I usually do. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> so mentally, spiritually, physically, and emotionally. I'm going to say cry. Um, I'm going to say cry. When things are hectic and I feel unbalanced, to let out everything is to just, just let it out. Cry. Yeah, I mean, like, it, and you can tell, like, if you, if you have one of them good cries, like, yeah. <laughs> like, you just... <laughs> You know, you're going ham. <laughs> you can't breathe. It feels so good. Once and then you when go. you stop, you just like, I feel mm-hmm. so much better. And then you go to sleep. Oh, yeah. Oh, but you a whole new person. A whole new person, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely feel you on the crying. And then one thing I didn't mention mentally is definitely music. Like, music is everything to me. I put music on when I clean. I put music on when I before I go to sleep. I put music on when I get home. I put music on when I take a shower everywhere it just music keeps me centered so and also like being mindful of the type of music that you're putting into your brain that like, for sure I can't wake quiet. up listening to no fucking little Dirk I can't do it I gotta listen to my Erica and Janae I gotta listen to you know something soothing Lucky Day he's he's been my vibe lately if y'all don't know Lucky Day I need to get on the wave because no what I don't really care if you cry like that song I, it's a <laughs> It's a hype song, you know, but at the same time, it's the words. The lyrics are mm. not good. The yeah. lyrics are not good. I'm Lil not gonna... Uzi, Lil Uzi Lil's lyrics are always like weird, but the beat yeah. on that song and that song is nuts. Makes you wanna, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. So that's that. Yeah, I, I definitely agree that it the type of music first of all the things that you consume and you digest in the morning are going to have a huge impact on your day hey, yeah. and so yeah if you listen to music like that or you listening to Lil Baby or you know Screamo who knows you know it's it's not putting you if, if that's where you want to be if you wake up in the morning and you just want to be let's go let's get let's get it done and that's what motivates you then you know but you got to know what type of music your body your soul your energy is in tune with because for me that type of music only comes on when I'm like all right we need to go we need to go and I'm working out or you know I'm about to go out or things like that so being kinda, intentional I kind of messed up for a second but I heard everything that you said yeah um, I just got that notification that my internet connection is unstable I'm sorry y'all if I'm lagging oh yeah I did want to address that um I did want to address that we are on zoom jazz and I are like four or five hours away so sometimes we have wi-fi issues we try to be in stay with well typically my place is pretty stable but um yeah just be it just bear with us bear with right. us for yeah, I mean, we're human. This is a, a podcast where we, this is real life. We're not trying to sugarcoat nothing. We're living real life and we're doing what we need to do with what we have, so. Um, I did want to get into as far as um, balancing everything. Do you have like a schedule book? And if you do, or like a calendar, if you do, like how do you kind of like schedule your day to keep your day kind of balanced and going the way that you want it to go? Mm-hmm. So actually, I, I didn't have a schedule for a good month or two, because when school stopped, I stopped using my calendar. I just stopped using my calendar. And it really did play a a toll on my productivity, and how many things I was getting done, and just my ability to know the things I need to get done during the day and get them done. Mm-hmm. So recently I have just, I have developed an idea where I, so I work 
usually in the mornings from 7 30 to 3 30 so I'm home by like 3 30 so I'm like okay when do I want to wind down I think about that I'm like okay I want to start winding down around 10 30 ish so from 3 30 to 10 30 that's like a six seven hour window how many things can I get done in that window realistically 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 and that's kind of like how I gauge my days and how I plan out my days, like what I want to do and how I want to do it. And I always try to include something that I want to do amidst the things that I have to do. So if it's, I got to wash clothes and if it's during school time and I need to read this certain chapter um, and then, you know, I need to mop the floor, mm-hmm. things like that. But I also include, okay, you also need to read or you also need to crochet because you need to implement some things that also you know make you feel good you have fun doing so I try to I try to plan it out that way I think I'm going to try that um I mean I do feel like I try to do that but my time management guys I'm just going to be honest it's horrible it's bad okay but to say that it's crazy because uh, like Asia said she does a lot like and she gets a lot of things done but I think I think with you you get it done in spurts like you will sit down for hours and get stuff done and then maybe the next day you won't get so much done and then maybe the next day you might not but then that next day you're gonna sit down and do all of it at one time yeah Yeah. um but I don't really want to be like that Mm -hmm. so for me I'm more of like a list person so kind of how I would do it and I'm still working on it so like I might take some of your tips or whatever or if you want to share some advice like oh Asia maybe you should do that I'm open because girl, like I said, (laughs) um, but so I'm a list person. So the first thing I'm going to do is like write everything out. My planner right now, it's old. So I need to get a new one. I'm not really using that right now. And I don't really like using those stuff on my phone. I've tried little apps and stuff. I don't like using my phone that much. I just like writing my stuff down and literally physically crossing it out. It helps me Mm. feel like I got stuff done. Productive. Yeah. All right, so I literally will start off with a list, like whether that's a sticky note or like just a plain piece of notebook paper, write everything out. And then I might like schedule it. Um, I might like put a time beside it or like something like that. Or also I might set a timer on my phone and I'm like, okay, so from this time to this time, I should have this first little thing done. I also write numbers beside it. Like as far as like the order, I want to prioritize things. Mm. So like I'll do the first thing, you know, things that that's the biggest thing that I need to prioritize. I'll do that first. And then I'll focus on the other things last, which kind of ties into like what you were saying. Like you try to feed in things that you like to do in between. But like, I feel like I typically do that at the end. You know what I mean? And sometimes that leads to me not even doing it because Mm -hmm. I had to, I prioritize or something, I prioritize other things first or, um, you know, like something took longer than I expected it to take. Yeah. I mean, a lot of times, like, I put them on there, but sometimes I just don't get them, you know, I don't get to get to the things that I wanted to do. And that's just life and unfortunately adulting, like, but, you know, it is rewarding when you do get everything done at eight o'clock and now you have free time to do what you want to do. Sometimes, honestly, I get, I, I, I do so much that, like I said before, when it's time for me to just relax, I feel very anxious, mm-hmm. like, getting and it's like I'm always in but I I feel like I function very highly up anxiety because I'm always teetering between I'm anxious about getting something done or I'm anxious because I have nothing to do yeah like yeah. and I feel like I need to be able to find a balance between I know that I can get this amount of things done during the day I'm not going to force myself or overwork myself to do what I need to do to get it done but I'm also going to prioritize the things that I need to do and then I also need to prioritize rest, whether that be I go real hard one day and then be unapologetic about sitting around the house all day the next or, you know, working it in gradually, which I would much obviously rather do. But, you know, life happens sometimes. But you just said, like, sometimes that that anxiety leads to me just sitting there and doing nothing. Procrastination. <laughs> yes. That's when that comes in. Mm-hmm. And that and I, I was watching this video and this girl was talking about task exhaustion and how. Mm-hmm um if you she was talking about her morning routine but she was basically saying like your mind you already have it in your mind about the things that you need to get done and if it's a long list of things you're you're gonna be you're gonna feel sleepy you're gonna feel tired because your mind mentally is like how am I gonna get all this done when am I gonna do it you know trying to prioritize these things subconsciously without you even realizing it and so she was basically talking about how like the night before 
you should lay your clothes out and you should try to have breakfast ready or like you know simple like overnight oats or something like that overnight um, oats is good I it's haven't okay. tried. the texture is a little iffy for me I haven't tried it yet but I was saying like I want to try it it seems good for like products that or snack, what you're talking about yeah yeah but like yeah trying to prioritize things at night so that way in the morning when you wake up you don't feel so anxious that you want to lay back down because you yeah. feel like you have all these things to do you know what I'm saying so yeah just trying to minimize anxiety as much as possible because it is oh. a it is a growing force in my life was that a tiktok no it was a youtube video can we like link that i could try to find it okay. it was so yeah i could try to find it i would love to have like resources for you all um things that you all can look back at obviously you can look back at this video but like i think that that would be a good thing um you know for them a resource mm -hmm. for them yeah all right, so my favorite part of the day or podcast <laughs> tip of the day. Hmm. My tingly senses. What am I? What is my tip of the day? Hmm. I like this podcast. This one is good. I'm feeling it. I am. I feel like the conversation is definitely flowing and going and growing. Mm -hmm. Um, if you have a tip of the day, you can go ahead because I'm still thinking. Um, I will be thinking off the top of my head right now, and I will say that my tip of the day is to buy a schedule book. And that's probably because I need to do that. And I'm kind of like telling myself, telling y'all through what I need to do, um, buy a schedule book, um, help, it'll help you stay balanced. It'll, it'll help you see the times that you want to start your day, like Jasmine was saying, and that you want to end your day. And then you literally, you, you want to get the ones that have, like I said, the time beside it, the days beside it. And just write everything out so that you know what you're doing and be realistic. Mm -hmm. Be realistic when you're writing yourself out. Don't be too, I, I know you want to be optimistic so bad. Mm -hmm. And I want you to, I want you to. You'll too, end up letting yourself down if you do not be realistic with yourself though. Yeah, be realistic. Um, but yeah, I would, that's my tip. Buy a schedule book, schedule yourself out so that you're not too overwhelmed and that your life feels balanced. I like that tip a lot, actually. I think, I think about, trying to buy a, um, a separate planner just for like YouTube and content and stuff like that. So yes, buy a schedule planner. Um, I would say for me, my tip of the day would be to not compare yourself. And I say that because um, a lot of times I, so I watch a lot of like um, what I eat in a day videos and like get ready with me videos and morning routines and things like that. And I find myself in like, well, I need to read and I need to wake up at five o'clock in the morning and I need to drink tea and eat fruit. And I need to do this and that and this and that because this girl does it and she's living her best life. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like a lot of times I find myself comparing myself and then get out of balance because I'm doing things or I'm trying to live this lifestyle that is just not in the means or it's not for me. So just finding yourself, finding balance for yourself and what that means for you. And, you know, whatever lifestyle you live, lead that and, you know, take tips from other people and take, you know, guidance from other people, but always take it with a grain of salt, take what fit, feel, take what fits you and leave the rest. So yeah, don't compare and live your life for you and, you know, everything else will work itself out love that and I feel like I definitely relate to that I feel like I'm out of that now but I did mm -hmm. used to be there especially like with the wellness girlies and like you know everybody yeah. you, you know. just feel like you gotta live this aesthetic like this lifestyle and it's like maybe one day I'll be there but right now you know I'm gonna wake up at seven maybe <laughs> it's eight o'clock <laughs> not five <laughs> there was a time I mean I think also like if you want to compare anything compare yourself to yourself mm -hmm. compare yourself and this is me and I always think about Jasmine three to six months from now. Like, I need to be looking back at myself now. Like, I'm proud of you. Like, you did what you said you were going to do. And you keep going. And I was going to also say, and Jasmine in Asia three to six months ago. Think about it. Okay. Because we was, we was struggling to figure this whole podcast thing out. Now we're up and going and rolling. And you know what? It's just a proud moment for me at this point for us. Because we're just doing it. And I love that for us. So. All right, so before Jasmine does our closing, um, I just want to say that I'm starting to put on um, like polls and like question and answers on Spotify. Um, I know some of you use Spotify. I've been watching. I've been seeing who's been using what Spotify, Apple Music. And then also I would like 
y'all, if y'all want to see us, I know that the videos, I think, is also on Spotify. Um, but you can watch us on YouTube too, you know. Make sure you get subscribing and everything. But um, go ahead and answer those poll questions and the question and answers on Spotify. And also we're doing that on our Instagram pages as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, but um oh, thank wait, you all for oh, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Also, I soon I'm gonna talk to Jasmine soon about doing like the listener like letters, or I don't know what we're gonna call it, but like um, you know, where you got where you all send in things through our email and um we'll kind of like answer them or whatever how we'll figure out a way but I'm going to talk to Jasmine so that we can brainstorm and come back to you guys with that information okay sorry go ahead no sounds wonderful thank you for all that information but um yeah that is the end of this podcast um I think the conversation was super dope today and I hope y'all gained something from it I hope that you know you enjoy listening because we just come up with more and more content um but yeah you can follow us on instagram at tmbd official you can follow us on youtube at the mental breakdown podcast um we are streaming on all platforms and you can follow me at journey.w.jazz and you can follow asia at to asia period and um yeah am i missing anything I don't know. I'm just very happy today. And I hope you guys can hear my <laughs> smile through this uh <laughs> this microphone here. And if you can see me, you see the smile. I'm I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Smiling from ear to ear because we love y'all and we appreciate all of y'all who've been rocking with us thus far and all of those to come. And we're just so excited as so excited to where we're going. And you know, the future looks bright. All right, more blessings and we'll talk to you next week. Peace. Thank you for tuning in to the Mental Breakdown Podcast. Please rate, subscribe, review, and follow us on Instagram at TMBD Official. See you next time.